Well, the quail are five weeks old, and they were released into their enclosed area oh, three or four days ago, I guess. And they have never gone back, hardly, to the coop. You never see more than one or two up there at a time. Even though the, the ramp, they can go up the ramp. I put the asphalt shingles on it so it has good traction. And none of them spend the night up there, even though I've left the brooder lamp going. Just proves that they are a wild breed, I guess. They prefer to be down on the ground. I put the several clips together here, and I'm showing you these first ones so that you'll see the contrast later on of what I have done to, I think, improve their ground area. Well, I put those first few clips up so that you would appreciate the improvement. At least I think it's an improvement. I'm going to put the camera back in there with the quail. I don't know what it's, this thing might be just focusing on the fence right now. But what I have done is just gone around the property and cut up pieces of sod and completely sodded the ground in there. Different kinds of grasses, wildflowers. I see wild strawberries, uh, several patches of moss. I don't know what might happen. Um, if it were hens, two or three days from now, it would just be brown dirt again. And I see the quail, since I put it in there, they've been around picking at it. But whether they'll eat it down to brown dirt or if they'll allow it to grow, I don't know. You might have noticed in the previous clips a tall green plant, which is over there in the corner. That's horseradish. Just happened to be growing here where I built the, the coop. There's no killing horseradish. And I've noticed they have even been picking at that and eating little pieces of it. And it seems to me I sampled a leaf years ago and it's almost as hot as the roots. So heat doesn't bother them any. Well, I'll put the camera inside and uh, hopefully you get some looks at them running around on their new grass surface. Oh, <laughs> oh. 